Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Hopefully you guys have already seen our video on having to move barns. I was planning on putting it up a little bit later, but things have changed and I can put it up. Um, I put it up last night. You put it up last night? Well, uh, to, tonight, it's gonna go up tonight, so they'll have already seen it. <laughs> but we are in a full packing mode at the barn. We'll be there today Literally, to pack. Literally, my locker is so clean. There's only a saddle, a bridle, and my shoes, my helmet, and my vest. Yeah, I wish it could always Daddy be like that. Daddy. We also left um, some saddle cleaner there so we can do that. So that's what we're doing today. We've been cleaning. We've been washing all of our saddle pads. Doesn't that look nice? Um, and hanging them out to dry here. So these are the ones that just came out of the washer now. Um, I, my washer is not awesome at cleaning them, I find. And it's supposed to be a heavy duty, really big, amazing washer, but I don't know. Have you guys seen Levi yet? Let's go see him. <laughs> oh no, that's not good. Leave the room for a minute and trouble right happens. There. I brought him over there. Oh, good boy, you brought him over. Sophie's a little nervous of handling him still. He's yeah. getting less bitey. Got, yeah. One thing that you guys, when some of you guys expressed Hi, concern about us getting a bird, especially uh, Goffin's cockatoo because of how needy they are um, and how much love they need and the time and attention and noise and thought and mess and thought we wouldn't be able to handle that. We can handle all those things for sure. The one thing that you guys didn't talk about um, and didn't express concern about is that um, Parrots like quiet, calm, relaxed people. And that is not who we are, is it, That's Gabby? <laughs> That's definitely not us. Yeah. Um, but we are learning, guys. But we are learning. And we are figuring it out day by day. <laughs> That's why we named our thing that. Named our vlog that because everything is a new day. Every day is a new day for us, it feels like. Um, but yeah, we're figuring him out and he seems happy and it's all going well. Uh, you, you know I'd tell you if it wasn't going well because I always like to run things by you guys. Anyway, lots going on today. As you just saw, we're getting the chores done. Finally, we've been running this whole week. We're getting the chores done. Girls want to do outfit of the day. Hardly any school this all week. Yeah, it's just been crazy. We're going to do double school next week. No, we're not because tomorrow we're not doing school at all. So uh, we have all of our stuff here, like a lot of our stuff here. We could just trip on. I'm gonna send all of our blankets to the cleaning store, which to is Green Hawk, and, and just it let them cleans and repairs them. Yeah, so, so we're just them. gonna get that done. Outfit of the day, Sophie. Sophie is sporting a beautiful white Goffin's cockatoo, who is the most beautiful bird ever. Dance, Levi. Dance. Dance. Yeah. Um, he is clearly the accessory of the century. This is what all the girls are sporting these days. These beautiful white birds. And if you're holding Levi, you're holding, you're wearing those. Uh, she's also sporting our barn shirt. This is our. Say step up, Levi. Step up. You said Levi. Step up. Um, she is also sporting this, um, our barn shirt. Showing support and love for our barn. These are our barn colors. These are our barn shirts. She's also wearing some shorts that are going to be switched in to. Also wearing these Levi proof socks. If you guys don't know, sometimes birds like to nibble on toes. <laughs> and these slippers are Gothen Cockatoo approved. They, he doesn't really get to your feet. Um, however, he is checking out the dog food. Oh, look, he's trying to put dog food in your slipper. <laughs> Watch, look, he's hiding. He's hiding his food in Sophie's slipper. <laughs> okay, buddy, enough. Enough! I say Just enough. wait, let him, let him hide his food in there. Let him. Oh gosh, I feel like something went down there. Come on, buddy. Can you step up? Shh. Quiet and calm. Quiet and calm. Good boy. Say good boy. Good boy. Good boy. See now he doesn't want to go on there. He wants to stay on Sophie. Mom, get him. Okay. Outfit of the day, Gabby. So Gabby's coming in backwards because that's what she likes to do. Whoa. <laughs> Covered in a saddle pad, which is also another equestrian accessory that people like to wear. Um, especially sheepskin because it feels nice. Um, she's also sporting this also cold. crop top sweatshirt. 
that she bought the other day and is in love with and it is her color and Storm's week. color and she paired it with the pants that I, she never that's wears. Funny. That's funny because like I only saw the sleeve. I was like, oh my god, I love the sleeve. Like, I'm gonna love this sweater. And then at the last second when my dad was like about to pay when the cashier was checking all the clothes, I like took this and I was like, oh yeah, yeah, that's a crop top. Mom's never gonna let me buy. She's like, give it to dad, he'll buy it. I'm like, here you go, we're buying this. And he's like, whoa. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so that happened. <laughs> so anyway, she's also wearing these white riding breeches that used to really be white. Belt. But then she wore them one time, and then, yeah, I need to get some way to Mom, clean them. Oh, but these stains all me. along here are chocolate Step up, Levi. Okay. Um, yeah, so she, oops. she had one bite of breakfast, and yeah, they got brown from her toast. Chocolate. <laughs> yeah, chocolate, and she had... I had chocolate on my finger. I was like, get them off. <laughs> like, I was on my that is not how it works, yeah, Gabby. You go to the sink off. and get a washcloth. Oh, I did. Okay, so turn around and do a twirl so everybody can see your riding pants. Come on, step up. Um, and also, whoops, adding to whoops, adding to her outfit is this beautiful white Goffin's cockatoo. Uh, so these are her pants. <laughs> you pooped. No. Okay, come over closer so I can show your pants. Uh, she also has on these gray socks. These are not riding socks, but these are our favorite socks to wear at the barn because they're the proper thickness and thinness. And they are, they pull up nice and easy. They're just really comfortable to wear when riding. So uh, her pants are this brand. They were sent to us by a subscriber. Okay, turn around. Turn around. Uh, and she has these adorable, wait, turn around. And they have these adorable um, button things on the pocket, which she really likes. Anyway, I don't know how much longer these pants are gonna last because they're white. But she's also sporting, what else are you sporting on your wrist? A lot of people have been asking about this bracelet that Gabby's been wearing. It's my good luck bracelet. It's her good luck bracelet. It's also her bird magnet. Anytime she the bird sees it, he goes crazy for it. He <laughs> finds it underneath my sweater yeah. too. Um, so it is this leather bracelet that is engraved with this uh, gold stormy night. thing. And it says Stormy Night on there. Don't. And Sophie has one, and it says Sabrina, so she's gonna need a new one. Yep. All right, we are headed out. It, oh my gosh, it's 10 to two. Hurry up, we gotta go. Can you guys guess where we're going? You guys are gonna start to think that whenever I ask you, hey, do you guys know where we're going? That um, it's not the barn, because yep, it's not the barn. Where we're going involves this crazy looking girl. In this. The last time we brought Ruby to this place, everybody was in a hurry, and I was trying to catch up to them so I could video her going in. And I dropped the camera. I'm not opening this one. Okay. I'm a small little guy. Jaw. Can you sit? Can you sit? Can you sit? Sit. Oh, I'm just so happy. Oh. I'm going to let them eat. There's a big puppy in there. Alright. Holy oh, cow. That reminds me of Dexter. Ruby could jump that fence. Yeah, we have to go to our barn to take care of our horses, so uh, just an idea. 4.30 for sure. Okay, perfect. Yeah. All right, bye-bye, right. Ruby. Bye, You're okay. Ruby. You're okay, Ruby. Uh-oh. Last time she was okay, but now she's really, we just had just gotten her last time. Oh. It's because she knows that she's going to go into the No, and now she's like really close with us, so she's... She loves us. Look how much she loves us. Aww. Her leash, so she's like, yeah. She doesn't bite or anything. I know, she just gets scared. There she goes. Now Aww. she's doing this. That was terrible. Like, she's so upset. The last time we brought her, we had just gotten her, so she wasn't super bonded with us like she is now. Now she's like, I'm getting the heck out of here, but it breaks my heart because she's probably thinking that we just left her here. 
Like, remember when we got her, she was two and a half years old, so she knows, she knows that sometimes her people leave her. And that's why we never leave our dogs, you guys. Like, ever take them to be babysat or, or take the, them to be like, had a doggy daycare or whatever, because I never want them to think that we just left them. Okay, we are home and I was trying to park on the street and I'm not that awesome at it. So like, I was trying to get as close to the, to the side of the road as possible. So I get really close and I say to Gabby, am I better? And she would open the door and she'd be like, no, you still have like pretty far. You should get closer. She had like this much. And then when she backed up again, she had this much. Like, And then I did it again. And every time oh, she again. Gabby would open the door, look down and look at me and be like, <laughs> cause I'm not awesome at driving. Well, you failed at this. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> wait, you guys. Wait, because one day soon this girl will be learning to drive and I will I'll never be better. Well, we'll see. One day soon this girl will get back in the driveway. All right, we brought Sam with us and we're going to pick up Ruby. It's been two hours, you guys, because she was pretty mad at. Oh, oh, I see her. Oh, you see her? She like really shaped her. Oh, pretty girl. I know she's seem anxious when you guys came in, but she's very good. Hi. Hello. Oh, she's like, hi. Good girl. You're okay. I thought we were going to leave her. We got you a sweater. Yes, we did. All right, you guys. We are maybe not riding tonight. We don't know. Uh, we are headed to the barn. We are going to help pack up. We are almost all packed up. And all of our stuff in our house. And another white horse trailer. And so we're going to come and help our instructor. Let's move that hose. A lot of people here helping pack up. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff to move yeah, when you, you move barns. Like so a moving, Mom, moving barn down? jumping competition. Can we drive down? No. Oh, weird. Oh, weird. <laughs> I did a weird takeoff. Okay, hurry up. You should have been ready. Oh. <laughs> right, you guys. The last thing we're doing tonight is feeding the horses and putting them away. Look who's friends, you guys. So Stella's best friend is already gone, Nikki. Nikki and Jesse went to a completely different barn. That's the part that's killing me. I hate that everybody's being separated. Like that's the hardest thing. Come on, Stella, it's time to come in. You're coming back out. Come on, come on. Usually she just walks in on her own. Yeah, she is. No, she's not going to, not with hay in the field. Go get her. Come on, Stella. It's so chaotic here. You know you're a good person when 25,000 people show up to help you move. Isn't that amazing? Anyway, so all the barn, this barn here, um, is getting dismantled today. Basically what that means is that horses have to stay out now 24 hours until, 20, like they have to stay out morning and night until we move because they're pulling the mats out of the out of the stalls. 
um yeah and it takes like a lot of big trucks like there's so many people here and it's just beautiful and amazing it's like when a community comes together and they all help each other out it's like a miracle there's a mini miracle in every single day you guys all it takes is two seconds to notice it and i promise it'll give you the most amazing feeling after witnessing a little miracle um for the whole rest of the day so take five seconds today and look for a mini miracle Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.